Hello everybody, Bardemir. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Uh, let's deploy our solar arrays. Except I haven't seen the power drop at all. Oh, well, I guess it did. 1.22 out of 1.23. It's actually not even charging now. Guess we actually used up quite a bit of monopropellant during takeoff. Well, uh, and you can't revert, which kind of sucks. Well, I guess I can revert to launch from this menu. Uh, let's go to. Tuna, I guess. Resource manager. Okay, so you can actually see what you're... Yeah, I think they... It's still definitely a beta. Can you just dump the fuel? Is that what this is? Oh no. You can transfer... Okay. Guessing if you wanted to transfer fuel from one... ...tank to another. Still not a lot of information. I wish I put the. Uh, there's. I can't find anything that tells you what your current mass to thrust ratio. Not that I can see. Maybe under engines. Tells you ISP. Okay. Okay, let's try and transfer to... Well, first of all, let's leave Kerbin. I don't think we're very close to Duna, no. So this is going to be a long maneuver. Uh, I've been messing around with it, and I found that time skipping doesn't work very well. Uh, tried messing around, and if... Uh, going to other planets and if you time skip like leading up to a planet it'll skip through your orbit and go to the other side sometimes it just doesn't stop when it's supposed to so you have to be super careful well let's skip yeah, sometimes it just gets oh Seem to just get stuck and keep going. But again, this is a beta. Hopefully they fix a lot of this stuff soon. But right now all you have is a sandbox mode. And that's basically it. And there's not much to do. Uh... It might be the most efficient to start it here. I guess I can try it. Another thing I found, maneuver planning is very annoying because you can never always just grab the right arrow. It would have been better if they had it like on the side here so you can look at the planet and mess around with maneuver planning instead of just having to always go back to this spot. Uh, let's refocus our rocket. Let's see, what do we want to do?
So the idea is to get this point and this point as close as possible. I wish if you click it actually tells you what the distance is between intercept points, like 15 million kilometers, but the numbers won't stay up. That's another annoying part. So you can't tell if you're how much closer you're getting. And, yeah, you have to be super careful that you don't click on the wrong arrow. Yeah, it's just over. They're super close now. Oh, nope, actually moving apart. Oh, there we go. Now let's refocus. Actually, not too bad. Yeah, this is a pain. Yep, and now I'm, um... Oh, and I'm gonna hit Kerbin again, so that might throw everything off. And I have no idea if I'm moving closer or far... Yep, I'm way, way too far apart. Yeah, maneuver planning right now is... Horrible. And, yep, now I can't click on this arrow because it overlaps that stuff, so I have to refocus back on our rocket. so I can actually click on this. Okay, let's just do that and then we'll adjust after the burn. Yeah, yeah. Let's align. Okay. I think I'll probably do maybe another video with just try out the airplanes. I'm not sure. That'll be that until they actually release some improvements um uh, okay let's skip to realigned yes and it stops 20 minutes before i i don't yeah the time skipping is The nice part is, I think in the first game you couldn't uh, time warp while accelerating. In this one you actually can, and if you look here it gives you a countdown. 
like right now I can just do this but I'm guessing time skipping while you're accelerating is probably not good it probably will throw your maneuver off but boosting for five minutes well not the most exciting video just so I kind of appreciate this Let's get ready. Yeah, it's not gonna line up quite correct. Oh, and we're way off. Ah. Yeah, I'll have to readjust. Let's delete this. Let's get past Kerbin. Here, I'm gonna actually try this. Yep, there you go. It bugs out if you try to skip to a planet. It just keeps going and won't stop. And after you stop, you guys saw how much it actually... It moved from about, what, here to here? So you have to be super careful time skipping. So yeah, it needs optimization, uh, but then again, this is a beta, so... Oops, I'm looking at the wrong... That's very hard to judge. You're gonna be pretty close. Went a bit too far. And that's moving apart. There we go. There we go. Well, maybe a little bit higher. Yeah. And I wish they would just show a line like the first game. So you can actually see how close to the planet you'd get. Instead of kind of try and guess. Let's try this again.
visually it's kind of it's like that actually looks pretty good but this is a beta again early early beta I might even say it's slightly still in the alpha stage okay let's see how close we are elite we're actually gonna yeah we're gonna fly by pretty quick though so yeah time skipping okay let's save this is uh does it have a quick save yeah it did quick save and let's hope it doesn't skip and there we go yeah uh, time skip is horribly broken uh, F9. Or did I accidentally click on the one right next to it? It's very hard to tell. I, I wish it didn't do the double lines. Uh... Okay, and it's gonna... Yep. I... Maybe eventually we'll get there? I guess I could just manually control it and hope for the best. Yeah, it takes quite a while for it to slow it back down. And I think when you hit planetary approach, it just takes off let's go a little bit faster okay well that's a lot of delta v Not even sure if we can do that. Let's start a little bit early, just in case. This engine doesn't seem to be extremely powerful. Line up. Just for fun, I think I'll try landing this thing. It's gonna go horribly wrong, but oh well. And I would like to skip to maneuver, but a few times I tried that, it just shot way past. So we'll manually control it. I'll save, quick save again. Okay, quick save. Uh, skip to maneuver.
Here we go. And now it's giving us a countdown. Actually speed this up, that's okay. Let's get pretty close. Oops. Uh, yeah, it's a pain. And I wish it showed you what your periapsis was without having to mouse over it. Which you can't even do. There we go. Uh, fine. Let's do that. Line it up. There we go. It doesn't take that much delta V. And I can just ah, and now I can't do it. Click on that because it's behind the planet. Okay, I'm gonna try and skip to this point. Oh, we're gonna hit the hit the moon. Okay. Ike. I like how it shows you, ah, oh, you're gonna enter here, and you're not exiting this uh, gravity well. There we go, we're in fairly stable orbit around Duna. Now we're gonna try and land this. I pretty sure it's not designed for that. Let's do it anyway. Uh, let's retract these. Oops. I can't close this. The sunny side. Yeah, this doesn't have much of a cross to wait, but let's burn off as much fuel as we can because. The less weight we have, the better. Maybe then we'll have enough 
thrust to actually land. Okay, so at speed 3, it actually still can maneuver. We have enough thrust to slow down, so... I should have put some landing struts on this or something. Well, the frame rate doesn't drop with Duna quite as bad as it does with Kerbin. It still drops, though. Oops. Yeah, if you're looking up uh, 115 FPS, around 58, so not horrible. this down. Let's keep it at a hundred meters per second. It doesn't say what the part's uh, strength is, what speed it can be impacted, so let's let's just go super slow. Ah, can I hit the wrong key? there. Oh, I'm going in the wrong direction.
You know, well, I'm gonna hit nose first. Oh no, the engine survived. Uh. Well. That 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 that, that happens. Okay, I think I'll put a cut in this video here. In the next one, we'll try out some airplanes. Next video. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.